Okay, cruising off the beach today. I wouldn't say it's a late start, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I spent an hour and a half on that jetty and I got a big donut. So today, um, it's the last day of flounder fishing. Kind of kept my mind open to mixed bag. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into about 45 feet of water and fish kind of a ledge. There's definitely a big um, ledge that runs the whole coast here. And we're just gonna pick apart rocky bottom and stay off any um, popular spots. Gonna fish just little nooks, see if we can scrap together a day. Haven't seen much under these birds, unfortunately. A lot of boats trolling through them. We just had our first bite, guys. It's a dink. It's either bluefish or a small Spanish mackerel. And one of these two. Not very big, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah. On the troll, baby. Winner, winner. No, I'm just trolling a small diving plug here on that spin fisher. Uh, some of the Spanish have been kind of big, but I think we had our fill of Spanish yesterday. I'm just getting down to the fishing grounds I want to fish right now, and we'll see. All right, I got another patch of reefy bottom here. All right, I'm going right to a live mullet. They're starting to die, so I want to use them. Had them in that bucket for a few hours. It's hot out, etc. So, okay, I'm gonna hook this guy up here through the lips. Let's get on this first spot here. That's the reef out there. It's hard to tell. It's probably like 25 boats. So, black sea bass. my mullet with him no good there's a lot of those on this sort of stuff so this might not work ah, it was a shark I think that one revealed itself instantly to me. Yeah. Ooh, we got a good bite there. Let's see if he stays on it. Lizard. I think so. Find out right now though. Lizard. Oh, well, that's a flounder. Hooked them kind of weird, huh? I don't know how I hooked you there. But I did. So this is a different species of fish than what we were catching in the last few videos. I mean, it's a flat, it's still a flatty, but um, these are gulf flounder. They don't get that big, maybe like 20 inches. Let's get them a little bit bigger than that, but um, different species. So we get a couple of summer flounder here in the Carolinas. These Gulf flounder are prevalent in the, the ocean. And then we have Southern flounder. Okay, and that was on a live mullet. I'm gonna go back to the, the shad now, cause we're out of mullet. And let's see if we can jig a couple. Dang, look at these lizards out here. Some true mullet eating serpents out here, man. Now this is tough, guys. I'm not getting many bites. That's a flounder. Lazy. Just didn't really want to come off the bottom. It 
It's doing more of that rapid jigging versus a slower jigging. Let's see. That's not too bad. Like golf flounder too though. It's funny. I guess out here I'm gonna be getting the golfs. Gulf of Mexico, if you wanna put it at that. Um, I think that's why that refers to, or possibly Gulf Stream. I don't know much about this particular breed. Um, they look closer to the summer flounder or fluke. You could see, right, how different that is. You know, you fish any of that that loose structure, you'll catch these uh, the golfs. Uh, this one's gonna run. It's an 18 and a half, 18. So how do I know that's a golf flounder? They're differentiated by these three spots. One, two, three little black spots on there, or rings, whatever you want to call them. The summer flounder have five or more, and the southern flounder don't have any. So 18 in the cooler. And I'm just using a five and a half inch Elias shad, putting a dab of Procure on it as such, and dropping it down to the bottom and just kind of popping it. I was working it slower before, and now I just switched to kind of that more of that fast, rapid, vertical jigging stuff. If you're not using a big profile, man, it's going to be punishing here. You're going to get uh, lizard fish and small black sea bass, pinfish, no curly tails. Really just got to use a fat paddle tail, I think. And yeah, even the fauna aren't that big that eat it sometimes. That guy was only uh, 18. So a 22 inch fish will scarf up a paddle tail, no issue. Something's on there. There we go. It's a good one. Really holding to that contour, man. It's just I come up, hit that flat bottom, get a bite. This is kind of my the end of the road for me, flounder-wise, so. Hey, at least I have it to myself today, even if they're not giants. Yeah. Another one of these gulfs, huh? Yep. This one is a, a summer flounder, I think. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, he's got one, two, three, four. No, that's a gulf. He's, he's got a kind of an irregularity. Um, but yeah, it's a decent one. These flounder have more uh, fluke or summer flounder type behavior, 17 and a half. Uh, they roam more, they're the roamers. Um, I'm not sure their range. I don't think Virginia gets them, but maybe they do. You'll tell me. All right, that's three keepers. See the fleets over there. I want to nothing to do with that. Might be a decent one here. We got a shark hanging on to it or something like that. <laughs> something feels a little off here. Yeah, I got a tax man right behind him. See him? Yeah, it's a white daughter. All right, that's gonna be my limit. Hey, I didn't catch any giants today. I'm sorry, but I got the. Uh, 17 to 18s again. Seems like that's the rut I'm stu stuck in. So they aren't bad size per se, but they're they're not doormats. I found a good class of these two three pounders, huh? I'm gonna keep this guy. It's gonna be my final limit. But these guys do taste pretty good. They've all been 17 to 18. So uh, 
different type of flounder though this go so check out the last few videos you could see they're totally different it's kind of cool uh, the gulf flounder have less meat on them um, they don't really come in shore like the uh, southern flounder do either so all right let's get them in the bag at least i didn't do it with uh, boats around me so got to enjoy this one on my own a little more huh um it's honestly it's not really that i'm not chasing big fish i'm kind of just doing what lets me fish in the kayak man so i don't know if it's hard it might be hard to understand watching at home um it's a little stressful trying to flounder fish that's why i even took a break from it yes the other day to do the spanish mackerel see what's funny is those gulf flounders are not the flounder population that are threatened or in decline but the state closes them all regardless i kind of just enjoy being on the water and catching fish right that's me um some olive branches man i didn't understand why they couldn't um make a course like a mandatory course to differentiate the different types of flounder like part of your fishing license right make anglers certify they understand the difference between a southern flounder a gulf flounder and a summer flounder and kind of highlight their distribution so, you know so when an angler purchases a fishing license in order to keep flounder um because the summer flounder and gulf flounder populations here are not in trouble from what i've understood um, the gulf flounder don't come inside it's the southern flounder that are on the decline but it's a beautiful day we had some beautiful weather uh from here on out max red drum sheep's head as soon as we get a couple cold fronts we'll get some good bottom fishing you know the grunts sheep's head all that stuff's gonna be pretty good so we'll get to change it up in a second so thanks for watching guys we're gonna try a couple other things real quick on the way home pick up a spanish or anything cool and turn on the camera had a good time end of summer for me uh looking forward for that spanish mackerel bite again if you're doing the king mackerel all that stuff should be a good time soon so interesting question though should should i stick with live mullet um, it seems like sometimes with jigs, uh, you're, you can be more efficient on artificial. Uh, sometimes that makes a difference. Today was definitely that kind of day. I stopped at like 10 spots I had. And you know, like most of them had sharks on them or just small black sea bass. Then I found one with, you know, a bunch of flounder on it. Sometimes that's how it goes. And, you know, I was lucky enough to be pretty efficient at what I was doing. So, all right, let's beach and... Uh, Catch up with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.